briefly explain about me so my name is karan and uh, i'm from india i'm working primarily as a mobile app developer on the android platform uh, for the last like five five plus years so my main core experience includes uh, working on uh, business b2c and b2b based applications so i also work on certain uh, technologies new technologies like um, ai ar and vr and more recently i have been involved in devops uh, as well so i have been involved in devops automation recently using uh, again technologies like azure and open source uh, frameworks as well like jenkins so basically i am more into mobile as well as uh, development as well as worked on web but uh, devops is something that i like to do and uh, it's something that i'm passionate about as well so that's about me uh so basically as i explained um, today in today's world basically we are all at home we are all so you know working from different areas we are all, all at different places uh, social distancing is something that i think it has become the new uh, buzzword nowadays and uh, workspaces i would say are evolving so we have different uh, you know we, uh, we have workspaces now being designed in such a way to uh, cater to such situation but um, what uh, what i feel is that um, even in this difficult times i think people are finding opportunities to to move on and that is i think one of the important aspects so being an optimist myself i feel that we can uh, leverage this kind of um, uh, of of time that we have to share our knowledge to share our uh, uh, you know experience with uh, the with our colleagues and with fellow developers and professionals as well so that's uh, that's what i feel so coming to the talk itself so uh, as you all know agile is something that uh, is a, is common to all of us i think when we heard even the year the term agile i think it's very common nowadays that all software development projects are moving to agile so when we say agile we say that uh, you know it's like uh, it's someone something that it happens spontaneous so we we are no longer uh, adopting a methodology where we have to wait for certain things to happen we are more like proactive and we move uh, you know move in a very agile manner so agile development is something that is winning i would say why it's winning because agile has a there are certain characteristics of agile development like better quality whether in terms of the end product having a person having you having to get the view the end product uh, in subsequent stages so we can have a better quality eventually it's more like result oriented where one need not actually have to wait throughout uh, you know once the product has been developed to wait and see okay this is how the final product is but he can view it in a very uh, you know in sprints or he can view it in a very s sequential manner where he has he can see the product as it is being developed rather than seeing it uh, you know at the end of, uh, that way so that is one of the good things about agile and along with that uh, the culture of continuous integration so i'm on slide 4 if you have the ppt with you but uh, what i'm talking about is how the culture of continuous integration has evolved over the years and people are now a lot of people are now into continuous integration and devops kind of a model where um, integration is not just limited to maybe the code or the uh, the artifacts that we have but in terms of a more general or a more uh, uh, a view where people are not focused just on the automation of the code but also in terms of how they can make their uh, you know data more visible or more uh you can say pre uh, presentable to a larger audience so that is why uh, and this is again on a periodic basis so this that's why continuous integration is something that is now more and more evolving so uh, uh, these two are basically the terms that uh, you know a lot of us are aware but something which excites me personally is uh, voice first so we all um, are aware of how voice is has a very important role to play in our life so you know everyone uh, human or any all of us humans are use natural language so we use something that uh, we communicate daily and one of the most important part of that is voice so how voice can actually help you uh, you know solve certain problems is what this talk is going to be about uh, you know moving forward so voice based technologies or voice first technologies are something that is uh, the next big thing i would say or they are going to be the future 
is what i feel so coming to slide number 5 so uh, just a few data points so a lot of you may be wondering like why did i why do i feel like why voice is going to be the next big thing so uh, this is something that is not just my thoughts but is something that has been predicted by very famous research organizations out there for example gartner so gartner is a very famous research a uh, research agency that it and gartner predicts that 25% of digital workers will use virtual employee assistants by daily that is daily they will use by 2021 so that is one of the huge predictions that gartner has made and gartner also predicts that by 2023 maybe 25% of all our employee interactions especially in offices will be will be voice will be done by a voice maybe so that is one of the uh, you know the huge uh, you know huge predictions that gartner has come about and also there is a report which is published by e marketer in 20 in the in the year 2020 itself where they predict over 100 million smartphone voice assistant users so this is again a big a big uh, leap from the previous year so that is again that that states that uh, voice first is going to be i think the next uh, big thing after we have all these technologies so that is about how uh, the voice based assistant is you know gaining traction so moving to the slide number 6 now uh, what is the problem that we are going to solve so the problem is very simple i think it's a problem which we have been all facing so what is the problem the problem is our project itself so our software projects nowadays are no longer simple they are complex they are getting complex day by day the reason i think we have a lot of technologies we have we have a lot of systems we have sap we have uh, you know a lot of systems that we have to integrate with and day by day i think the the, the software development is becoming complex we have larger team sizes we have our teams separated in different geographical locations so we are all working like in different geographical locations and along with that we have to have you know, we need to have a higher learning curve so it's gone other days where you know a person would just be knowing Uh, would be just a web developer or it would just be a, a kind of a visual basic programmer but uh, today is more of a gen- generation of full stack kind of developer where it one expects you to know a bit of both and uh, it's it's a, it's a higher learning curve so it's 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 really important nowadays to you know grow as a person and professional and there is a lot expected from developers so developers are i think the people who are a lot uh, you know there is a lot of expectation you, you are expected to write clean code you are expected to write test cases you are you are also um, you know you are you should be able to identify defects early so and all these are basically problems that have been existing for, for quite some time but it's something that we can solve as well so it's these are some problems and all this basically has to be done against time so we all face the problem of time so the race is always against the time so we have all all of us we have deadlines to meet we have a time to market we our product has to be released quickly so there is always this pressure that builds on so that is the problem that we have um moving to the slide number 7 so information is something that we need information is something that we all need access to and for that we have something called as the information we require information to be present on the go so when i say on the go it's something that information um, we all uh, we cannot ha- we cannot have access to a smartphone like at all moment at all times we cannot have access to our computers at all time we need something that uh, is s- simple to communicate and can give us this information without even without having it without having us to manually you know uh, do some task so there is there, we need to have some sort of an information provider that can help to give this information to us quickly and uh, precise so it's something that we need not have to go through emails or we need not have to go through large documents it should be something that it, sh- it should give us the correct and the precise information in a much faster way so information on the go is something that we all require so what are some of the answers that typically in a software development what are what are some of the answers that we seek to 
uh, we try to get to. So one of the questions may be when was the last bill delivered or how many test cases actually passed or failed? Was the last build actually successful? So these are some questions which, uh, as as a as a developer or as a, as a software engineer, you constantly come across being asked by your peers or your, by your superiors. So some someone will always ask you this question about what exactly did you work on or was what was the last uh, update you have on the project you are working. So these are some informations that uh, or these are some information that you need to uh, provide. Okay. So uh, coming to slide eight, so so these are the challenges. So what are the challenges that we have, or what are the challenges that we're going to solve through this through this uh, presentation? So there are a few challenges that I have noted down. So one important challenge that I found is the dependency and communication among team members within different cross-functional teams. So uh, the, the meaning of this is that uh, in an, typically in an organization, we have several teams. So we have an, uh, a UI engineering team, we have a core development team, and we have a kind of a project management team, uh, DevOps team. So there are, it depends on the organization, but there are a lot of teams involved. And sometimes communication plays a very important role. So you normally, uh, as from a developer point of view, we would depend on the UI or the, the wireframes or the, the mockups that the UI designer provides him before he actually starts development. So there's always um, a dependency and the communication has to be very critical year because um, a slight miscommunication can end up you know uh, you know developing a wrong uh, functionality so that is why it's one of the challenges i feel uh, and today that exists today second is basically the time and cost which is involved in developing portal so i think this is one of the challenges that we have so we we, develop, we tend to develop a lot of applications on uh, like side websites or portals uh, we tend to develop them we spend a lot of effort in developing them but over the years we we never actually go back and um, redesign or revamp them so they are always as it is so it's never like it's it's a it's a huge effort that we put in but we never um, think up about going back and revisiting those portals uh, right now because today it's more of an age of um, um, smartphones so there is a lot of uh, time but but there's a lot of time that some people have spent on designing web portals instead of uh, something which is a lot simpler which will come to and uh, third challenge i feel is about feedback and in specific information retrieval so um, without manual interven intervention how can we you know get this inform get the information or get the feedback so how without having access to your office pc or an office computer how can how easily can you get information so that is something which is also a challenge nowadays considering also the situation right now and uh, th th the one more challenge i found is about how organization the culture and the methodology are changing so a lot of organizations nowadays are still you know using or adopting a waterfall or a kind of an iterative model whereas some have already moved to agile but sometimes uh, based on the requirements maybe they have to change so from a waterfall they move to an agile but to make this change smooth you know it's very important to have a process that would help to transition this transition to make the transition smoother and for that we need to take into account like how or what are the ways by which can, we can make this methodology and the development and the organization culture transition very smooth so that is why we need to have a process for that as well so it is one of the challenges that i see and the last is basically about personalization and user experience so this is again a challenge where a lot of users nowadays want the apps or want a service that is more personalized to them and their uh, needs. So that is uh, a challenge that I feel has to be addressed because going forward when you have these uh, multiple devices or if you have multiple uh, kind of um, uh, channel, multiple channels basically you need to have uh, or you need to keep in mind the user experience across all this. So that is uh, a challenge that you have to take care as a a developer or as a designer so so the proposed solution so coming to the next slide so i'm on slide number nine right now so what is the solution to this problem is what we are going to discuss today so the solution is actually to create a voice-based communication interface that uses a natural human natural language so how that can be done is using a google assistant so this is just a 
an example but it can be any voice based interface as well and how do we how do we use it so we can use it in our devops we can use or leverage the ci cd framework that we have in any organization and we can use it to uh, you know automate a few things or automate or i would say um, you can say streamline a few things that would normally that would normally take a lot of time or that would require manual intervention so that is one of the solutions that i that we are that i'm trying to propose and i would use the i would propose to use the latest technologies that we have so artificial intelligence the technology that we have uh, that has come that has boomed i think recently so that we, we are using the latest technology to communicate and create meaningful conversations so that is the idea to create meaningful and you know clear conversations with the end user and the next is basically to provide an instant feedback to all the queries so basically all the information that you need we need to provide an instant feedback so that is also one of the uh, ideas of this solution so going to slide number 10 so this is a simple kind of an architecture again i'll be demoing it uh, in a short while but this is about the architecture of this particular solution so it's a simple a uh, model where you have um, an agent so let's say an agent is a user so it can be anything it can be your mobile phone it can be it can be an agent on your phone it can be an agent on uh, your tv or it can be an agent on anywhere any device which supports voice and uh, this kind of an agent communicates with our with a system so it's basically a simple conversation that happens but in the background it's more like doing something called as intent matching so intent matching is one of the um, uh, is basically in, in, a, in a, if you put it in a layman's term is something that you have a request you say something and it basically should be able to recognize it and match it as per the you expect as per the expression that you have provided it so that is how uh, we work and then there these intents would be actually tied to a certain web hooks so if we have to communicate to a system i think you have to have certain hooks in order to in order to connect to those system and here for this um, this purpose we would be using um, uh, we will be using web hooks so we have so there will be certain apis that we have been we have i have developed so that will help you connect to any system so it can today uh, it can be maybe a jenkins ci framework or it can be say travis ci or it can be any kind of framework but these apis would actually help you to connect to these particular framework that is the advantage of this so tomorrow if there is another framework that comes i think it can be extended to that as well the basic idea is simple so you have an input you process the input you use the concept of web hooks to connect to the system get the information from that system and pass it on back to the end user who invoked that so that is the overall idea and this happens seamlessly using natural language so the person who the end user will not be actually aware of the complex transactions that happen at the background but he will be more talking freely and talking naturally to the agent so that is how that is the advantage of you know this kind of a solution and he would not have to access any portal he would not have to have access to any uh, physical machine as such all he need to do all he needs to do is have a conversation with his uh, with a with a bot you can say with a bot or with a agent which runs on any voice based um, voice supported interface so i think that's uh, that's the idea of the whole thing and that's what i feel is that is going to help because um, considering the situation where i think everyone right now is not going to not having access to their machines but if they wanted some information quickly so how 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 can they get that so that is one this is one way i feel is using this kind of an interface where they could just get this information by automating automating this kind of a task and then this uh, kind of an agent could actually connect uh, to the system and get that information for him and he could he could get all the data which he require rather than without him being physically actually present uh, in the office so that is uh, the idea of this particular solution so uh, so coming to slide number 11 i think i talked uh, about it as well but some of the benefits of this solution uh, is one benefit would be i think 
easily extendable to other platforms so if someone wants to have uh, someone uses another ci framework maybe not jenkins or maybe any other framework it can be easily extended it's just that the webhooks need to be uh, connected to that uh, kind of a platform uh, it helps to obtain information easily using natural language so again this is as I, as i mentioned it's more human it's more natural you don't have to have access to any kind of system where you log in or you know trigger something or you you depend on there's no dependency with uh, your developer or with uh, with a designer it's something that you yourself can talk to and you know get that information so this is uh, something of that way and uh, it also users it also allows users to remotely monitor the status of an application without the need of a centralized portal so that is one of the benefits and again this is something that also allows quicker transition among your team members so in case so as i said in case your development methodology changes in case you don't uh, use agile right now but it, it's something that you you know modify or you eventually turn up using a child from a waterfall model so in this case also this particular this particular solution will still remain the same you can you can always uh, keep this as the same is in spite of whether you go transition or not so this is i think one um, solution where you can you know easily depend on and you not have to worry in case any of your organization methodology development methodology changes so that is uh, the advantage and also the last advantage i think the one the most important is a, a voice first approach so uh, the user personalization again is handled it's something that you do not actually worry because if when you're using ai and machine learning it's something that you're going the, the bot itself is going to learn about about you and maybe the more conversations you have the more personalized it will get for you so that is the advantage that we have uh, in this kind of a solution so yeah so that's uh, it from my side and then coming to the conclusion of the talk so before i move to the demo so uh, basically the what i feel is that uh, these kind of interfaces are increasing so maybe not now maybe in the future i think we'll see a rapid growth of these kind of voice based interfaces uh, smartphones and tablets are already personalized so so there is not not much that one can do except enhance enhancement but i think wearables or wearable devices or uh, maybe smart watches or something like that would would be more uh, would be now be more voice enabled so i think it will be more having more kind of features as you know as compared to smartphones and tablets so that is something that i foresee happening in the near future also um, these kind of uh, this kind of a solution would help to better streamline conversation so it could help you actually having uh, instead of um, you know writing those long emails or like writing the, uh, you know writing um, a kind of a, you can say uh, asking for a uh, bill uh, asking for a report or a daily report i think this kind of a system would actually help you get that report in just a few you know conversations so you could just maybe say a command or just maybe uh, say something uh, and the bot would you know get that without have you having to call your colleagues or write an email so that is uh, that is one of the things which i find maybe in future uh, we'll not be writing much emails i would say and uh, there is uh, also a scope so this is one of the scope i feel that i think security and user verification i think it's now coming in so with voice i i know that security has uh, security is a very important thing in terms of voice based communication but i think there are a lot of um, frameworks that are now coming up to have this kind of mechanism where you can actually enhance or better the security there will be some kind of user verification so you you know that you are the, the bot knows that actually you are the right person talking to him and not someone else so i think that is also very important so this is something that i uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's something that is evolving and in the future it's going to be i think much better so that is uh, what i would like to conclude with uh, slide number 13 is more on the references and uh, link so that is something that you can always go through something that i based on my presentation so uh, that's it and uh, and apologizes for not sharing the screen but uh, i think thanks a lot to all the uh, participants first of all and also the pittsburgh uh, tech fest team and the technology council for uh, giving this opportunity to me um, i'll i'll take any questions and then i can move to the demo